Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking Nicotina Rustica, also known as Wild Tobacco, for the first time. Which I will admit, I am both quite excited and quite nervous to do. As Nicotina Rustica is the strongest tobacco in the world. And it contains up to nine times more nicotine when compared to common tobacco varieties, which are typically used to make cigarettes, cigars, and pipe tobacco blends. Common tobacco generally contains 1-3% to nicotine. Nicotina rustica, on the other hand, which is a completely different species of tobacco, can contain up to 9% nicotine, which is pretty wild if I do say so myself. Nicotina rustica is actually generally considered to be a real pesticide due to its insane levels of nicotine. But it's also known for giving you an insanely large buzz, which is what I am using it for in today's video. And I certainly am looking forward to seeing just how big that buzz is actually going to be. And I'm just looking forward to seeing how this experience is going to be in general, I will admit. Now, Nicotina Rustica is generally known or is generally considered to have been one of the first tobaccos that humanity ever smoked. There's not really a lot of proof to back up that statement, I will admit, but nonetheless, Nicotina Rustica is known as Aztec tobacco, most commonly, I'd have to say. However, Nicotina Rustica has a variety of different names around the world, as these days, Nicotina Rustica is actually more commonly grown outside of its native North and South American habitats. Nicotina Rustica is known not only as Nicotina Rustica, not only as wild tobacco, not only as Aztec tobacco, but also as Mapacho, Thuclau, and Macorca. I don't think I'm pronouncing that last one correctly, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it nonetheless. And it is grown in a variety of different countries around the world, and used for a variety of different things, and used in a variety of different ways. But most of those different ways, as long as a human is consuming them, generally mean that you're getting a really big buzz, because no matter what it's called, Nicotina Rustica is still Nicotina Rustica. And overall, as I'm sure is obvious, I am quite excited for this experience, but also quite nervous, I will admit. My heart is pounding a little bit fast right now because I know that coming up in just a minute or two, I am going to start smoking some of this stuff right here. And honestly, I don't know how big of a buzz it's going to give me. It's something I've never smoked before. It is far stronger than any tobacco I've ever smoked before. And so as such, I am certainly quite nervous to enjoy some of this stuff for the first time, but I am also, of course, looking forward to it. But what are my expectations for this experience? Well, of course, I am expecting an insanely large buzz, but that's not all. I've read online and I've heard that the buzz you get from Nicotina Rustica is also a little bit different than, you, than, than the buzz you get from Common Tobacco. And so as such, I am expecting a huge buzz, but also a slightly different buzz at the same time. I just don't know how different or uh, how it's going to be different, I will admit. I'd have to say... Taste-wise, I've heard that Nicotina Rustica generally can, uh, ge generally uh, tastes like um, earth or sort of a, it has sort of a meaty taste. And so as such, taste-wise, that's very much what I'm expecting. And I'd have to say roughness and smoothness-wise, I'm kind of expecting to be like really, really, really strong, really, really, really rough, but I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't in all honesty. I'm expecting to be like 9 out of 10 on the roughness and smoothness scale, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if I'm wrong. Those are my expectations for this experience, though. And so now, I do suppose without further ado, it is time to go ahead and talk about how I'm going to be smoking, well, Nicotina Rustica for the first time in today's video. So, how am I going to be smoking Nicotina Rustica for the first time? Well, from what I can tell at least, Nicotina Rustica was probably first smoked out of a pipe. 
not a pipe like this, probably a clay pipe or something like that kind of thing. But nonetheless, today I am indeed going to be smoking the Nicotina Rustica out of my corn cob pipe that I have right here. This is my uh, Missouri Meerschaum Legend corn cob pipe, and I think it'll probably do a pretty good job for today's video. I already have a bunch of Nicotina Rustica all sort of shredded up and everything like that kind of thing ready to be put in my pipe, and so momentarily, in just a moment, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some in my pipe right here. I'm also going to be using my uh, check pipe tool in today's video, though. I'm not going to be smoking this like a, uh, like a normal pipe by any means kind of thing. I am going to be inhaling the smoke, which is definitely not what you're meant to do out of this pipe right here. But that's what I'm going to be doing nonetheless, as my goal today is to experience as big of a buzz as possible, not to try to smoke... Um, Nicotina Rustica in uh, the classical pipe way and everything like that kind of thing, but but Nonetheless, I have my check pipe tool with me today to make sure that I can tamp down the tobacco and everything like that kind of thing to make sure that I maintain a good smoking experience. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get my mason jar of Nicotina Rustica all opened up and let's go ahead and take a whiff of this stuff right here. And let me tell y'all what, when compared to normal tobacco that I have smelled previously, this stuff smells a little bit different. It has a very sort of oddly sweet, sort of dried hay sort of smell to it, but very earthy at the same time. It's really odd because it smells like a mixture of, I'd have to say like Virginia tobacco and like really earthy cigars I've smelled before, but at the same time, like neither of them. Like description wise, it sounds really similar, but when you're actually smelling it yourself, it doesn't really smell like either of them at all but yet at the same time it smells very similar to both of what i just said kind of thing both virginia blend uh tobacco and like very earthy cigars and stuff like that kind of thing it is a very 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 interesting very good smelling tobacco let me just put it that way kind of thing it is not bad smelling by any means if i was handed this stuff and i didn't know what it was i'd i'd probably smell it and be like, wow, this stuff smells really interesting. What is this stuff kind of thing? If you told me that this stuff contained 9% nicotine, I probably would not believe you unless I already knew what it was. Because it just smells so dang good, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and start getting some of these large flake chunks of the Nicotina Rustica inside my pipe right here so I can actually go ahead and get to smoking. I'm just gonna very patiently put it in. I'm not going to try to uh, fill up my pipe all the way by any means kind of thing. I don't think I'm going to need my pipe to be full all the way up. That is for sure. I'm thinking that might be enough just like it is. I'm going to go ahead and just grab that little strand that tried to fall down and everything like that kind of thing. I'm thinking this might be good enough as is, but you know, this stuff, it looks pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. It looks pretty good. Definitely. Uh, there's like some darker pieces and some lighter pieces. I'm not exactly sure how this stuff is cured. Maybe it's like sun cured or something like that kind of thing. Not exactly sure. I basically just uh, ripped it apart and just kind of cut it up just a little bit and everything like that kind of thing. It's not like a super fine cut by any means, but I think it'll do the trick for today's video. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. But now that I've gotten, I think, all of the tobacco that I'm going to be needing in today's video all out, let's go ahead and get the lid back on my mason jar if I possibly can. And now I'm going to go and take my uh, check pipe tool that I have right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of shove everything down into my pipe. And since it's such large chunks, it's not really wanting to do that, but there we go. I've got it all shoved down nonetheless. I think that should work just like that. And now that it's all down, let's go ahead and just test the draw real quick. I replaced my filter. I cleaned my pipe before this. So I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully getting a, a really nice, clean um, Nicotina Rustica taste. That is for sure. Let's go and just uh, test the draw just a little bit. Draw is a little bit too open for my personal preference. So I'm just going to go ahead and just tamp this down just a little bit more, I'd have to say. And that is a little bit tighter now. And so now, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get my lighter out of my pocket. And now, without further ado, it's time for me to go ahead and smoke nicotine rustica. Nic nicotine rustica. It's time for me to go ahead and smoke nicotina rustica for the first time. Wow. This is an experience that I wasn't expecting to have for a while. But it is an experience I'm having right now, actually thanks to one of y'all. I almost completely forgot to say this, but thank you so much to the anonymous viewer who sent over some Nicotina Rustica to my P.O. Box. 
I really, really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much, my man. I cannot believe I almost forgot to give you a big thanks. Thank you so much for sending over the Nicotina Rustica to my P.O. Box. It was something that I intended to do eventually, just not right now. But uh, since you sent it over to my P.O. Box, I figured I should probably go ahead and make a video on it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much, my man. Thank you so much to the anonymous viewer who sent over some Nicotina Rustica to my P.O. Box. I really, really, really do appreciate it. But I do suppose without further ado, let's go and get this stuff all lit up. And let's see just how big of a buzz Nicotina Rustica actually gives you. I'm going to take it very slow, though. I'm taking this experience very, very, very slow. I'm not chiefing this stuff down by any means. Let's go and get this all lit up, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And right off the bat, it definitely has a very different taste. A very hot taste. Very hot taste, I definitely have to say right off the bat. Interesting. Interesting. It definitely has a different mouthfeel as well than tobacco I'm used to. Interesting. I'm gonna go and just tamp this down just a little bit. Definitely very different taste. Very different taste than what I'm used to. Not in a bad way, not in a bad way, but definitely quite different. Taste-wise, I can definitely see why this is not used in a lot of like cigarettes or pipe tobacco or cigars around the world, because the taste of it I mean, like, it's not like it's bad per se, but it's definitely not an ornamental taste like a lot of, like, pipe tobaccos or cigars or something like that kind of thing that is for sure. And it's a very different taste than you would get from a traditional cigarette. And so I do see why this is not used commonly in tobacco products around the world. But I think the main reason it's not commonly used in tobacco products around the world probably isn't due to the taste. It's probably due to the strength, in all honesty. Quite rough, though, if I do say so myself. Quite rough. Wow. That is some rough stuff. Wow. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely uh, one of those uh, tobaccos you definitely have to just keep relighting and relighting and relighting. I definitely did not cut it fine enough or well enough to make it where it wants to stay lit and everything like that kind of thing, that is for sure. And I'm also inhaling, which is not helping either, I will admit, if I wasn't trying to inhale, then um, then I feel like it would uh, stay lit a little bit better. But right off the bat, the buzz I'm feeling is definitely a buzz. I'm definitely feeling a buzz right now. But it's not like insanely heavy by any means kind of thing, but it's definitely different. It's definitely different. I'm just trying to think of how to describe the difference. It's, I'd have to say, mainly, okay. It's kind of odd, actually, because I feel like I'm getting kind of two different buzzes at the same time. And in some regards, I am. I am getting very much a very calming head buzz, but at the same time, I'm getting a very, very, very energetic body buzz. And so head buzz... It's like up here for context. It's like you feel like you have like a pressure or something like that kind of thing. And it's just like a very calming pressure on your head kind of thing. Whereas a body buzz is just kind of the feeling you have in your body kind of thing. And it's so, it's, it's kind of odd to say that I'm feeling two different buzzes at the same time, but I am. And right off the bat, this is reminiscent of another tobacco product I've tried before. And that tobacco product is Doka. This is most similar to hot Doka. So far, at least. Hot doka is like the strongest level of doka there is kind of thing. Aside from like super hot doka. Hot doka is like the strongest generally consumed doka there is. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. And I'd have to say taste-wise and feeling-wise, so far this is most similar to doka, which is quite interesting if I do say so myself. <sighs> I 
Maybe Doka uses a little bit of nicotine and rustica in it. Wouldn't surprise me one bit in all, at all, in all honesty. <sighs> yeah. Definitely, though. Quite a different buzz from what I'm used to. It's not like an overpowering buzz, though. It's not like it's an overpowering buzz by any means. I've definitely had more overpowering buzzes. Granted, I'm very much pacing myself. I'm very much taking this slow. That is for sure. But it's not a super overwhelming or a super overpowering buzz. It is very heavy. Every hit I take, I can just feel myself getting more and more and more of it. Every hit gives me just a little bit extra. And with most tobaccos, I mean, like, that's how I feel that way to an extent kind of thing. It's like, okay, I'm getting some more nicotine in my system with every hit kind of thing. With this, on the other hand, it is elevated to the next level. Let me put it that way kind of thing. Let me put it that way. Excuse me. The taste I'm getting from this tobacco, I'd have to say, is very much a sweet and sour earthy taste with a little bit of sort of dried grass in there almost yeah dried grass not like hay though not like hay it's not sort of a hay like taste like you would get from virginia blend tobacco it's more of just a sort of dried grass taste not like a sweet dried hay just sort of mild dried grass sort of earthy natural taste with some sourness in there as well, kind of tasting like, I don't know, like pine needles or something like, maybe like that kind of thing, like sort of like very pine needly smell sort of taste. And there's a very earthy sort of taste as well. This is a very cigar tasting tobacco, but not at the same time. But that's probably the most similar it is, too, I'd have to say. I haven't tried any cigarettes that quite taste like this yet. I haven't tried any pipe tobaccos which quite taste like this yet. I have had a cigar or two that is kind of reminiscent of this, though, in a very earthy sort of way, I'd have to say. But strength-wise, besides Doka, there ain't no comparison, frankly put. Or I do suppose that's not really the right way of putting it. There is a comparison. This is very strong stuff. And it is just as strong, if not stronger, than some other tobaccos I've tried before. Kazami tobacco from Japan, which is like the traditional form of tobacco from Japan, is insanely strong stuff. I've smoked that stuff before. That stuff always gives me a pretty good buzz. But the buzz itself is not super similar to Kazami tobacco. It's more similar to Doka, which is why it's more comparable strength-wise to Doka, in my personal opinion, than Kazami tobacco. This is really interesting, really good stuff. This is really interesting. Wow. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna wait a moment. I just uh, felt a little bit of roughness in the back of my throat, and um, I could feel the nicotine going into my system, and it's gonna hit me in just a moment. I know it's gonna hit me in just a moment, and uh, yeah, it's hitting. It's... Hitting in such a different way, though. It's, it's so odd. It's such a different buzz from what I'm used to. Like the buzz is definitely most similar to Doka, in my personal opinion. However, however, it's not the same. It's most similar, but not the same. Like 
Doka for me is mainly a really, really, really heavy head buzz. And you feel a very energetic body buzz, but the, the really head buzz, you feel like your head is kind of closing in on you kind of thing. That's when you get a really heavy sort of doka buzz. That, that's how it feels kind of thing. This, on the other hand, it feels like my head is kind of closing in on me just a little bit kind of thing. But not so much, and I just feel more sort of at peace, more sort of calm, which is a little bit odd to say. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I like to use my nicotine, I like to use my uh, tobacco products as a uh, break throughout the day to kind of just take a break and just kind of feel at peace and just have a, a moment to myself kind of thing. I like to do that, that is for sure. This tobacco does it on another level, though, that is for sure. I get a lot of y'all like, I already kind of feel at peace when I'm smoking a cigarette and whatnot kind of thing, but man, this stuff takes it to the next level. It is very much definitively super strong, though. Very obviously so. Very obviously super strong. But its strength comes off in a different way than normal tobacco. And so it isn't overpowering. Yeah, it isn't super overpowering, which is pretty interesting if I do say so myself. I'm going to go ahead and take my check pipe tool wherever I put it. I don't know where I put my check pipe tool. I was going to go and tape this stuff down. Oh, I put it right here. All right. I am a little bit buzzed right now, I will admit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, not like super buzzed, though, but just kind of surprising. I am very much pacing myself. Don't get me wrong, but just wanted to tamp that down just a little bit kind of thing. Let's go ahead and take another hit. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Definitely, though, as predicted at the uh, beginning of this video, when I was going over my expectations. This stuff is quite rough. I'd have to say it's a solid eight or nine out of 10. Not quite a 10 out of 10 though. I haven't ever experienced a 10 out of 10 on the roughness and smoothness scale. But, um, and, and with my imaginary roughness and smoothness scale, this is not a 10 out of 10. This is more like a nine out of 10. It's not unbearable. And for me, a 10 out of 10 would be like unbearable kind of thing. This is not a 10 out of 10 by any means. It's just so different, but it's so hard to describe at the same time. So different, but so hard to describe how, what the differences are. It's really a good way of summing it up in all honesty, but I don't want to leave it at that because I actually want to describe the differences. So I'm going to go and start doing that before the end of the video. I think I'm almost done with this, but not quite done yet. I'm gonna go and take another hit, and I think I'm gonna go and try to start describing what the actual taste is like and everything like that. I would have to say the taste is very much a very mild, sweet, earthy, grass, taste with a very mild sourness in there that comes off like a very mild pepper I'd have to say and yeah it comes off like a very mild pepper not quite like black pepper just sort of a very mild seasoning sort of taste I definitely have to say very mild sort of slightly spicy slightly sour peppery sort of seasoning like taste Yeah, it's very much what the taste is like in my personal opinion. There's also a hint of the sweetness. There's like an undertone to the sweetness as well. And the undertone to the sweetness is very much a sort of... Almost honey. Like it's sort of a, a very mildly sweet... Earthy, grass-like honey taste with 
a splash of a sort of pepper on top. And that last hit got me really buzzed. I have just about had my fill. This stuff hits insanely strong. Wow. Like I, I feel like I'm edging up against like where if I take more hits, I'm gonna get nicotine sick. That, that's how I feel right now. I'm feeling amazing right now. Like normally, like the last time I felt like this was probably when I previously smoked 10 cigarettes at once out of a water bottle. That was insanely intense. And I felt more sick after that experience than I do right now. Like I, I feel like I'm edging up on, if I take more hits, I'm gonna get nicotine sick kind of thing, which is insane. Um, cause I really haven't smoked that much in today's video, frankly put. Um, I mean like I did, I really did not put that much in my pipe. Like there's not that much in my pipe right now and there wasn't that much in my pipe to begin with. Um, but I don't feel sick at all right now. I just feel very calm. It's just kind of like my body is telling me right now that I don't need any more. This is some interesting stuff to say the least. You get so much nicotine, but as long as you don't consume it all at the same time, and as long as you don't, like, just keep chiefing away, it's so strong that it's just kind of like, okay, I know where to stop. Which cannot be said about me sometimes with cigarettes and uh, other stuff, that is for sure. Like, I've, I've smoked cigarettes before, and I don't even feel that I'm sick until after the cigarette. Um, it's not generally just with one singular cigarette. It's generally with, um, like if I smoke like, let's say two American Spirit back-to-back, -back, uh, two American Spirit Blacks back-to-back -to, -back to be precise, because those are insanely heavy cigarettes. Generally speaking, if I smoke two of those back-to-back, -back, both of which are pretty quick smokes, I'll feel perfectly fine until I finish the last one, and then I'll feel insanely sick and I'll want to go lay down. This on the other hand, I'm feeling fantastic. I don't want to go lay down. I just want to keep enjoying my buzz. Yeah. I am, though, going to take another hit because the buzz is going away just a little bit and I want some more. And I think I need to press this stuff down a little bit more. I've already described what the taste is like. Now I want to describe what the buzz is like a little bit more as well. I have described more so than not what the buzz is like, but I want to describe it again. The buzz is insanely calming. Insanely calming. Like, even though I'm inhaling, it feels like I... am just as calm as I would be if I was smoking a pipe tobacco. And in my opinion with pipe tobacco, when you're not inhaling it, you feel even more calm than when you smoke cigarettes. That's my personal opinion at least. I'm inhaling this stuff and I'm feeling insanely calm. Yet at the same time, I'm feeling very energetic. It's so... This tobacco feels like a culmination of every other tobacco I've ever smoked, buzz-wise. That's how it feels. It feels like a mixture of cigarettes, cigars, pipe tobaccos, Kazami tobacco, doka. It feels like I've smoked tobacco out of a water pipe. It feels like I've smoked tobacco out of a water bottle. It feels like I've It feels like everything in one feeling-wise, but there's no distinctiveness to say that it's actually one of those. But it feels like... Okay. I wasn't quite expecting that. It feels like 
most everything I've ever smoked before, but different, to say it correctly. Feels like most everything I've ever smoked before, yet different. Not quite the same different, but I'd have to say it feels most similar to Doka. I would have to say it feels most similar to Doka. That's the one type of smoking, that's the one tobacco product I've smoked before that feels the most similar to Nicotina Rustica. That is for sure. I'm wondering if they use Nicotina Rustica in Doka. That would explain it. I wouldn't surprise me one bit if they do. I didn't hear that they use Nicotina Rustica in Doka, but maybe they do. That wouldn't surprise me one bit. <sighs> but you know, the buzz as a whole, I would have to say, is very, very, very calming. It's a very calming buzz, very heavy buzz, but it's not an overwhelming buzz. It's not an overwhelming buzz, not one bit. It's not super overwhelming. Maybe when you're first inhaling the, buzz, the, the hit and you first exhale, maybe it's a little bit overwhelming right then. And actually, yeah, I would have to say it is overwhelming just for a second. And then after that, it immediately kind of calms down. And after that, it's no longer overwhelming anymore. I have had much more overwhelming buzzes before. And I'm sure if I was cheap in this stuff, I'm sure if I was just chaining hit to hit to hit to hit to hit, I would feel overwhelmed. But as I'm smoking right now, I am not feeling overwhelmed. And to describe the buzz in depth, it is very much a very calming, a very, very, very calming buzz that... Oh, my phone just said that it was on 20% power. Should be fine, you know what I'm saying? Should be fine. But, but... That completely distracted me. The buzz, though, feels very, very, very calming. But at the same time, very energetic. It's a very calming head buzz, but very energetic body buzz. Like, right now, I want to get up. I want to go move around. I want to go do stuff. I want to go walk around. I want to go take a hike. Something like that kind of thing. I feel like I could climb a mountain right now and do it with the perfect mindset. With the perfect headspace. That's how this stuff makes you feel. That's how calm I feel right now. I feel like I am so calm, I'm calmer than I ever am with any other type of tobacco product. Like, tobacco normally calms me down kind of thing. But this stuff takes it to another level. This stuff takes it to another level. It's far more calming than just about any other tobacco product I've ever had. Than just about any other tobacco I've ever had in general. Yeah. <sighs> Just about more calming? It is more calming. Wow. Wow. And as I said, yeah, I'm feeling very energetic. Like, I, I'm, I'm feeling kind of antsy right now. Uh, which is not something I normally feel when I'm, like, this calm from a tobacco product. The only time I really feel like that is with Doka, which is why, in my personal opinion, this is most similar buzz-wise to Doka. Buzz-wise, it's like a culmination of everything. But because of the very calming, yet at the same time, very energetic feeling, it comes off most like Doka, I definitely have to say, is that's the feeling I remember getting from Doka. Wow. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is really interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and just tamp this down just a little bit more kind of thing. I think I've got uh, probably a little bit more left in there. Not too much. I've been smoking really slowly in today's video, which is a good idea because if I had tried to smoke all of this like in five minutes, I'd probably be throwing up right now. I will admit, this stuff is insanely strong, but this stuff could totally easily be underestimated. If you got handed this stuff and you just started smoking it like normal tobacco, ooh, you would feel sick, 100%. And I'm so glad that didn't happen to me. So glad that didn't happen to me because, um, yeah, if I, if I uh, had been handed this stuff and started just smoking it like normal tobacco, just cheap and away kind of thing, then uh, I'd probably be feeling pretty sick right now. 
I probably would. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. This stuff is some good stuff. This stuff is some good stuff. You really don't need a lot of it to get a buzz, that's for sure. It is just as heavy as some of the heaviest tobaccos I have ever smoked. It's just as heavy as some of the heaviest experiences I've ever had for not smoking much at all. For not smoking much at all. Yeah. It's pretty wild if I do say so myself. That's pretty wild. I can't complain. Yeah. Very rough as well. Very rough. Definitely 9 out of 10 in my personal opinion. I was predicting a 9 out of 10. It is a 9 out of 10 on the roughness and smoothness scale when you're trying to inhale it. That is for sure. Very, very, very rough stuff. But not bad at all. Not bad at all if I do say so myself. Yeah. I can't complain. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. You can definitely tell this is a different tobacco but if i had been handed this stuff and not told what it was i would just assume it was a normal tobacco that was really strong that it was processed in a way that let all of the nicotine come through really well that's what i would assume i wouldn't assume that it was a completely different species of tobacco and that's exactly And that's exactly what it is. It is a completely different species of tobacco, which is why I'm feeling such a different feeling. I just didn't expect it to be. I knew it was going to be different. I just didn't know how it was going to be different, but I, I couldn't have expected it to be this different. But at the same time, so similar. It's so hard to summarize my thoughts on this because it's so different yet similar to what I've had before. And so as such, I'm just going to leave it as what I've already said. I'm just going to leave it as what I've already said. The taste is very much a sort of very mild, sweet, earthy, grass, sort of almost honey-like taste. And then there's a tinge of a sort of peppery sort of spice in there as well kind of thing. That's very much what the taste is like. And then... The buzz is very much like a culmination of a lot of the other buzzes I've had before, but unlike all of them at the same time. The buzz I'm feeling is a very calming, and I'm still feeling a little bit of the buzz. It's been a minute since I've taken a hit, but I'm still feeling a little bit of the buzz. Definitely goes away as fast as a normal tobacco buzz does, that's for sure. It doesn't stick around for a long time by any means kind of thing. Um, but the buzz I'm, I was feeling very distinctly and still I am feeling a little bit right now was very calming, not super intense. It was a very calming, not intense buzz. Head buzz, that is. Very calming head buzz that was not super intense. It didn't feel like my head was coming in on itself or something like that kind of thing like I have with some buzzes before. Did not feel like I needed to go lay down because I was sick or something like that kind of thing. And then at the same time with that not super overwhelming, really calming, relaxing head buzz, I also got a very energetic body buzz. And I think that's really the best way I can describe the buzz at this moment, at least. My description for the buzz of Nicotina Rustica might change in the future, but that's the description I'm going to stick with at the moment. Definitely the tobacco product I've tried before that comes off most similarly to this stuff is, I'd have to say, Doka, for sure. Definitely most similar to Doka. As said, 9 out of 10 roughness. I do think without further ado, I'm going to go and take one more hit of this. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably finish off the video right there. I'm going to go and try to grab myself a little bit of a screenshot as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, Nicotina Rustica that I have in my uh, Ziploc bag right here all out so I can try to get a proper screenshot and everything like that kind of thing. I just realized I haven't gotten a screenshot all throughout this video, so I probably should do that. I have been so hyper-focused on just the buzz and just trying to figure out what this tastes like and everything like that kind of thing that I've just completely forgotten to try to grab a screenshot. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and try to do just that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?
Hopefully one of those screenshots will do. We will find out. But I think that's pretty much all I had to say for today's video. And so I do think without further ado, I'm going to go and take one more hit of Nicotine Rustica. Nicotina Rustica? Nicotine Rustica. I'm going to go and take one more hit of Nicotina Rustica. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off. Without further ado, let's go and take one more hit. This stuff is some good stuff. Um, one other thing I wanted to say before I do take my hit, though, and that is distract me a lot. Um, I've kind of summarized my thoughts already, but I do suppose there's one really important question that I should go ahead and answer. And that answer is, would I smoke nicotine? And that answer is, that question is, I am feeling quite buzzed. Those couple of hits I just took while I was grabbing the screenshot got me quite buzzed. Um, the question that I feel like needs to be answered is, would I smoke Nicotina Rustica again? After smoking Nicotina Rustica once, would I smoke Nicotina Rustica again? Yes, my first impressions of Nicotina Rustica are fantastic. It is by no means the best tasting tobacco I've ever had. It is by no means the most intense experience I've ever had, but it is by far one of the most buzz-inducing experiences I have ever had. The buzz is fantastic, so unique. The taste as well is fantastic, so unique kind of thing. I haven't ever quite tasted a tobacco that tastes exactly like this before. Really, really, really good stuff that usually wouldn't be to my preference, but there's aspects to the taste that I really like kind of thing. This is really good stuff as a, uh, as a whole kind of thing. And overall, after just smoking Nicotina Rustica once, I would definitely smoke Nicotina Rustica again. That is for sure. Yes, that's what I wanted to go and answer. Would I smoke Nicotina Rustica again after smoking it just once for the first time in today's video? Yes, I would. This is some good stuff, that is for sure. Without further ado though, I don't think I have anything else I wanna say. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one more hit and I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right after that. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. <sighs> Had to take two hits, you know what I'm saying? Had to take two hits, but I think I am all good, you know what I'm saying? I think I am all good. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I smoked Nicotina Rustica, also known as Wild Tobacco, for the first time. Certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I smoked the strongest tobacco on earth for the first time. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever tried Nicotina Rustica for the first time before. Let me know if you in, in the comments down below if you guys have ever tried nicotine rustica, nicotina rustica uh, before in general. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how y'all's experience was. Was it a good experience? Was it a bad experience? What did y'all think about it? Do you guys think what I described in today's video was accurate? Do you guys think I was wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm very curious to find out what you guys think. And let me know, of course, in the comments down below what you guys think of nicotina rustica if you guys haven't tried it before just based off this video. Definitely though, yeah, in general, it just it just doesn't come off like it actually has as much nicotine in it. But at the same time, it very much does. It's just not an overpowering buzz, but it's very, very, very strong. Very interesting. I'm sure with different cuts of Nicotina Rustica though, with different cuts and using Nicotina Rustica in different ways, I'm sure it comes off as more intense or less intense. I'm sure if I smoke Nicotina Rustica out of a water pipe, it would come off as far more intense than it came off out of a out of, out of the pipe that I smoked it out of today. And I'm sure if I rolled it into a cigarette, which I am intending to do in the future, um, that it might come off as more intense as well kind of thing. But this was still a fantastic, uh, this was still a fantastic experience nonetheless. Not super intense, not super overpowering, but a very, very, very buzz-inducing experience nonetheless. Well, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. If you guys have enjoyed watching today's video, of course, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Mr. Ice Cream Man is driving by right now. You know, go check everything out. Like, subscribe, as said. And until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace. And have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.